Okay, so today we wanted to talk something a little bit different. Uh, there are people who don't see the life in America like how we see in Africa. I come here as a new immigrant. Let's say you are the Green Card Lottery winner. You are an international student. You just come from day one here. One aspect which we don't give more is about the living mostly indoor lifestyle. How do you describe that kind of lifestyle, first of all? Okay, so Americans in general live inside most of the time. It's just because everything's there. They don't need to go out for things. And uh, you can watch your movies in, in on your TV in your house or on your phone or your tablet or your computer. And you can order uh, food. You can, can order food <laughs> and it can come to you. You, know, you can do shopping, they can bring that to your home. Right. Yeah. But the... I mentioned this in another video. The parks are free. You can go to them. It all depends on the on the weather, and if it's a safe area. Um, and you know, and it's completely fine to go take your chairs and have a, take your food and have a picnic. And these are things that Americans do. And people go to beaches and people go to the lakes and Fishy. or to the deserts or whatever. They do these things, but it's going to be different than what you're, most people are used to from other countries where everybody's always outside, everybody's talking to everybody. Um, you, oh, poor Faustina, she misses us. You cannot show, it's, this is a big thing, and I know Ernest didn't mention this to me to say, but don't go to somebody's house unannounced. Yeah. Don't just show up let them know ahead of time and if you say you're going to be there at a certain time be there at that certain time um, if it's other africans and they know you and they accept all these things fine but here in america if you show up to someone's house and announce they may be very upset because their house isn't clean or they weren't ready for you or they didn't have they, food for you they have or, a plan. They they have, yeah or they're going out you know so but um, yes so and, and it, i'm bringing this po point to why because we grew up outdoor life right you come from day one you are indoor life right and that's that hard is extremely you can hard. get very depressed better you come that time it is during the summer or the winter right. you can, i mean the summer or fall you can be outdoor you can be walking around even if yourself but assume you come that during the winter the it's darkness hard. starts at four yeah the darkness starts early uh, with the changing so, there is the issue of depression yes and some people in Africa we don't believe there is depression. Which is there is. Like it's not your it. fault. It's it's <laughs> it's okay, so depression and things like that happen. I personally have been diagnosed with depression and anxiety. It's not not something I did and I didn't catch it. Uh here's the thing. Your brain has a lot of different things going on that you can't control. Because the the chemistry in your brain and you could be it's just how it is. So do not be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to go to a doctor and say, I am really feeling sad. I don't do the things I used to do. Or it's just not the same. Don't be afraid to take medication. Don't be afraid to get help. Because in Especially Africa here, it's not, it is for the most part, People are very open about these things nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is a very serious issue because over there, because all the time you talk with other people, you feel that you, you are not depressed. That's you feel that way. Yes. You might be depressed, but you don't. You feel that way. And it's sometimes uh, that big change. You come here. You are staying indoor. You are not having with your friends. You. I mean, all the time in your life, you maybe you are 28 years old. You are 30 years old. You have been with your friends. You can go to the neighbor, you can do, you come here, you are struck, you cannot go to the neighbor. You cannot do this one. And you wake up eight hours again, already they are sleeping, maybe there. Right. You are already like, okay, what should I do? And the, another challenge is you make a comment on the WhatsApp group. They say, oh, you are now, you are more Americanized. So you are not feeling you are part of that crew. You are not close to the friends and whatever. And you are depressed, but we don't like to talk we don't like to go to see professionals right and that takes time because that's that happened that happened here in the united states my parents and their parents never would have gone to see somebody about feeling depressed sad or some you know uh never that just it was what we call taboo it was not spoken of people were embarrassed nowadays it's more out in the open 
Um, I want to say something as an American woman here in the United States. I've grown up here. I had lots of friends in university when I was growing up. Now, we have nice neighbors, but I don't talk to my friends every day. Most of them I might say hi to on Facebook. And even, I mean, I'm even isolated, you know? So, and I live here. It's just part of life, unfortunately. I was telling Ernest the other day, I felt so alone because there's just nobody. But sometimes that's just the way it is. It's not that, well, you didn't go out and meet people. Sometimes it's just how life is. So make sure that you always have someone you can call. Yeah. That that person will be there for you. They will listen to you, not tell you what you should do, but just listen. Try to find that person. And if you can't find that person, make sure you, that you see a doctor for help. Do not be ashamed. Do not be embarrassed. Please, your life, you are precious. Your life is precious. In, and you want to live as best as you and can. That kind of depression, sometimes... There are free services if you have problems. Yes. I, uh, that depression also goes, especially in America, with the financial burden. Oh, yes. Because in Africa, you might not have food to eat. You can go to whatever someone, oh, like, go, come on to eat, whatever. Right. This here, that doesn't like, happen. So here, you can be depressed. Like I mean, like financial burden comes. You don't have to eat. And you do not know where you can get free food. There are resources. That's why I say it's better to get some resources whatever where can I get, get free food if you want you don't have that one where should I call with these particular things there are some certain things you might feel ashamed but this is a normal different culture it's okay Even to go. and this is all Americans do this all the time yes so, so those are the things like you are brand new you feel you are, why did they even come here right uh, yes you can be homeless but there are some places you can find a shelter I'm giving an example. Right. Like, so there are certain things like you have to do in one way or another because otherwise you might end up doing bad things and you might destroy your entire life. Right. Either you have seen people commit suicide, they're Africans. Right. You have seen some people, they're Africans, they are going to do bad things, they end up in prison, they are doing whatever. So we don't want to go there because you're just depressed or financial difficulties. They reach to a point. Because here you cannot just go to, can you borrow this money of man, your friends? Yes, yeah, some, one hand in there. But, but most borrowing people, money here is more a about big go, deal. Yeah, you don't want to be indebted to people if you don't better have to, to be. Better to go to be indebted by the bank. And yeah, the I know. Than individual. Because it'll ruin your relationship with your friends. Yeah, it so really will. This is very critical about the issue of mental health, the issue of being depressed, the issue of being lonely in America. Uh, sometimes you, you come here, you want to be, oh, let me go to do a window shopping, like you walk around. I understand that when you get your steam off, whatever. But to reach a point, you are comfortable to your home. Like, right. For yes. me, I can say one week, I don't want to get to open the door. I'm just, I'm okay, I'm used to that yes. after this moment. But it used to be <laughs> terrible for him. It, I remember he had to be outside all the time because he didn't know any different and it was so hard for him. Yeah, so. but... I mean, now you get after a while, you get used to your even surroundings. Like now, when I travel to Tanzania or go to Kenya, I'm in the hotel. I can stay there for two days. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> can you bring the food in my room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it reaches that point. Right. If I'm with maybe I have my food, I cook my own. I don't want to go anywhere. So, can I mention something about asking for resources and help? You can always go to the police station or the fire station and you can ask and they can direct you to these resources. Uh, truly, honestly, you don't have to feel like they're going to, if you say, I don't have any food, I don't have any clothes, I don't. you're here yeah. legally, they can find. They can help you find resources. They might not be able to get it right away, but there are resources and they will be able to help. And Somebody will be able to help you. Sorry, I'm cold yeah. out here, that's why I'm doing part this. Part of the <laughs> depression, part of everything, especially let's say you're a single mother, you're brand new, you win a green card, you come a single mother, you have a child, you don't have any person like to look at your child, you are depressed, find, like if you are going to church, talk to someone at church. Talk to someone at church. If you have Muslim community, talk to a Muslim to community. Them. Because sometimes your neighbor might say, oh, I can just check your child just for, just for like for six hours for free, just go and just be alone. Because it's hard. And you don't have many people like you. Oh, I don't my need, I, and I don't have people that can just do that. So, yeah, so but if so, you, but you can try, if you have a community or find community. Now, it's different for everybody. So, but 
that's important. If you go to church, find a church and and try to get into the community. And or if it like if you go to the mosque or you go to temple, or find a community, and that way you'll ha you'll be you share common ground. So you'll be able to go from there. You're building relationships. It, even if it, or say there's. Um, like I said, like story time at the library. Our libraries are free. You can go, you show them your your uh, ID and you can get books. You can, and if you're just there, you don't, you don't want to take them with you, you can take them out for free. But they have things like story time. Story time is for little children and there's somebody from the library that will sit down and the children sit all around and they, they read stories to them, they'll sing songs. And you might meet parents or other people and you'll be able to have community with them too. Uh, so there are different community activities that you can get involved in that don't cost. And another cause which affects us is immigrants. When we, especially, I'm talking this for the lottery winners. Right. Don't compare your life and continue with another immigrant. Because you, you can come here, you study social science. Another one is engineer. Another one is a doctor. Another one is a truck driver. You get different income, different priorities. One likes to have nice cars. Another one likes to have nice home. Another one likes to have investment. So you all winners of the V lottery. You come from the same country. You can be knowing one another, but don't compare because you're not going to succeed that way because it will affect you mostly. You exactly. will be trying to completely show off and you are going to be depressed inside. You are going to destroy yeah, yourself. Yeah, I had mentioned that in the in one of the videos. Yeah. I said, be yourself. If you're fake to people, they will find out. If you don't show who you are, then you're never living truly. Um, there will be people that like you for you. You don't have to have special clothing. You don't have to talk a special way. You've got an accent? Great. It, it's all right. I have an accent. If I go somewhere that's not the United States, I have an accent because I'm American. So don't change don't who you change. are. For me, like I know, like even like two weeks ago, someone said, "You have been in America for this, and you don't know English." So do don't confuse it, knowing English versus accent. Those are two things different. And I'm not going to change to start talking like you know. I'm saying like if you like 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 like, like Snoop Dogg Dog or whatever. Those, no, that that's the, their, their lifestyle. Yes. That's their accent. And it's not when it comes to Tanzania, we'll talk different. And even Tanzania, someone in Kigoma talks different from someone from Arusha. Exactly, exactly. That's how it is, but don't come here and you pretend to be more black than black American. And no. here's the thing, you that's it. Another thing is, just because somebody else does it, doesn't mean you should do it. And yeah, so, so... So those are the important things. Please, your mental health, don't compare your life with other people. Live your life. Make your goals, yes, find the resources. That is the most important. So thank you so much. Welcome to the United States of America. Welcome to your new home.